we're going to go over muscles of the hip, muscles of the thigh, and muscles of the leg. So we'll start at the superior end here. We have psoas major and iliacus. Together, psoas major and iliacus are referred to as iliopsoas. In fact, you'll see that right here as the muscles come together. As we turn around to the lateral side here, we have tensor fasci lati. Tensor fasci lati goes all the way into our IT band. This is one, two, and three gluteal muscles. Gluteus maximus, gluteus medius, and gluteus minimus is gonna be deep. If we look at muscles on the anterior side of the thigh, these are the muscles of our quadriceps. So quad implies four. On this model, you can see three of them. Vastus medialis, vastus lateralis, rectus femoris, and the fourth quadricep is going to be deep. We call it vastus intermedius. Think of it as being in between vastus medialis and vastus lateralis. As we turn to the posterior side, this is where we find our hamstrings. There are three muscles that make up the hamstrings. Biceps femoris, this is the long head. This is biceps femoris short head. Biceps femoris, semitendinosus with the long tendon that lays on top of semimembranosus. So semitendinosus lays on top of semimembranosus. As we come all the way to the medial side of the thigh, we've got muscles here, easy way to remember it, saga, S-A-G-A. -A. Sartorius, this is actually the longest muscle in the body, sartorius, adductor longus, gracilis, and adductor magnus, S-A-G-A. -A. Sartorius, adductor longus, gracilis adductor magnus. There's a couple more right in this region that are tucked in here. This is adductor brevis. You can remember it because brevis means brief or short. Very tiny muscle, adductor brevis. And pectineus. You can see pectineus right here as well. When we get to muscles of the leg, we have our tibia right here. So if this is our tibia, that makes this muscle right here, tibialis anterior. Tibialis anterior, the next muscle, extensor digitorum longus. Whenever you hear digitorum, you can think of your digits, like your fingers or your toes. That's what this one is gonna be doing right here, contracting and extending our digits, extensor digitorum longus. On the side here, we have fibularis longus, that lays on top of fibularis brevis. From here, we also have flexor hallucis longus. Flexor hallucis longus. This one is going to flex our hallux. If you look on the bottom side here, your hallux, of course, is going to be your big toe. Hallux is going to come right down here. That's your big toe right there. Flexor hallucis longus. If we look on the posterior side of the of the leg, we have gastronemius. Gastronemius, look at the position of the toes here. This is medial, this is lateral. We're looking at the bottom side of the feet. So this is our medial head of gastronemius. This is the lateral head of gastronemius. This is oftentimes called your calf muscles. Sometimes you'll hear it as gastroc for short. Gastronemius comes down and it leads into this right here. You may know it as the Achilles tendon. It's properly called the calcaneal tendon because it goes to your calcaneus or your heel, your heel bone. Underneath that, and you can see it on this side as well as this side, we have soleus. Soleus is the big flat muscle that lays underneath gastrocnemius. Very strong muscle, both of them in fact. And then finally, as we come all the way to the medial side here, we have flexor digitorum longus. Flexor digitorum longus is going to go down. You can imagine this one contracting and flexing your digits down here. Flexion meaning decreasing the angle between two elements. That's what happens when you curl your toes. So these are the muscles of the leg. 
muscles of the thigh, and muscles of the region of the hip.